The winds on day one playing havoc with scorecards. Day two on Scotland's west coast. Well, that brought rain. Royal Troon, the site of the AIG Women's Open. Now, birdies were things to be celebrated on this day. Not a lot of them. Austin Ernst then, awfully pleased with this chip in birdie on nine as she moves to one under. Mitigating mistakes on this blustery course is so key, and NB Park holds the ultimate equalizer. Her putter, exceptional on this day. Check her out on 10. This from about 30 feet for birdie, and that will drop her to five under par. Anna Nordquist not even bothering with that putter. Here on eight, the chip from the par three will make its way in for birdie. What a shot by the Swede. She finishes at three over. American Lindsay Weaver, well, she almost gave up on golf, but she's here in Scotland giving it another go, and that's the right call. The tap-in birdie on 13 gives her a share of the lead at one under. Then next, in the par 3 14th, she will do well to get up and down to save par. Weaver ends up at one over par. Amy Olsen had an incredible day one yesterday with an opening round 67, but today an 81 sees her fall well back at six over. Playing great golf since the LPGA's restart is Lydia Ko, and she's at two over on 13. The long birdie effort will fall. That's part of an even par 71. She's one over and right near the top of that leaderboard. That's also where we find Jasmine Suwanapura after round two. The fabulous approach here on nine will result in par. She shot a one over 72. Danny Holmquist, she's two under here. A chance to move to three under par with a short downhill putt. But no, Holmquist though settles for par. She would finish her round as the clubhouse leader at one under. In conditions like this, par putts can win you the day, and on 18, Lydia Ko finishes strong. But of course, you want to finish in style, and NB Park will cap the day's low round of 69 with another remarkable birdie. Do not count her out at four over par as home quiz sits at one under austin ernst is at even par and it's a log jam after that as we get set for saturday at the aig women's open